The NFL Combine is comprised of six events. Bench press, vertical jump, broad jump, 20 yard shuttle, three cone drill, and my favorite, 40 yard dash. Now you guys know me as a two time Olympic runner and I've never done any of these events. So I'm here at Exos, world famous training center where I will be competing against two time NFL pro bowler, Lorenzo Alexander. Zo. What's up? What's up? How much trouble am I in right now? Uh, you're definitely in a lot of trouble. Why don't you flex on them, show them your stats. First up, bench, 225 for reps. Let's go. All right, coach, 225 on the bar. I have to cycle it as many times as I can, like nonstop. Yep, we're trying to get as many reps as you can back to back. I guarantee, I promise you I can do one. I don't know if I can do two. Let's shoot for three. Here we go. All right, you guys, I got a special treat for you today. It's the Train with the Best Boys, best fitness podcast out there. I've linked it below. They are gonna be providing live commentary throughout the entire competition. All right, Nick stepping into the bench. All right, let's take a look at this. So this is gonna be Nick's worst chance at winning an event. He says that he's gonna get one. We're gonna shoot for three. He looked pretty good in the warm-ups. He warmed up with 205. He looked pretty good. We'll see how he does. Let's see it. He's in his own head. It comes down. That's one. That's strong. He's definitely got two. This third one's going to be a grind. Hitting that same spot on his chest. Excellent. Oh, he's got it. Nick three. Oh, beat that. Come on. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't go for one more. You had one no, more No, no, no. I was losing it. I was losing one it. One more in there, man. Show us how it's done. Zoe's got his hat on, sweats on. He hasn't even. Just fresh out of the car. One. Two. Oh my gosh, three. All right, he got me at bench. <laughs> Five. Oh, he's just showing off now. Oh my gosh. What was the count? It doesn't even matter, I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. All right, what's next? We're gonna head now behind us to the vertical jump. Okay, vertical jump. So to ensure that you're just capturing the vertical jump, each athlete steps under the Vertec machine, reaches up, they establish how high their arm is, and then obviously they'll reach up as they jump, and that'll tell us how high they've actually jumped. All right, here's Zoe's first attempt. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's see what that final score is. So we're at 32 and a half inches on the vertical jump. That's a really good score. When we asked Lorenzo before the competition what he thought, he said 29, 32 and a half on his first jump. The idea was that Lorenzo would show Nick how it's done. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that Nick paid attention. Natalie's got Nick at least facing the right direction. Here he goes. Oh, big jump, here we go. He got some, he got something. So he's at a 23, 23 inch vertical jump. There's no way, I jumped 23 inches? What's up, still got it. <laughs> His last attempt. Oh, he got it, he nipped it. So, so Lorenzo reached and jumped the exact same 125 and a half, which gives him a 32 and a half inch vertical. Coach, I need 10 inches on this okay. next jump. How do I get 10 extra inches on the jump? All right, we're gonna put you on a 10 inch box <laughs> and you're gonna jump to this. What I want you to do is reach your hands up nice and tall on the balls of your feet. Okay. You're gonna load your hips fast. Okay. pulling your arms down as you do that, oh, so you and then throw them straight up. Yep, quarter squat, and as you do that, pull your arms back aggressively and then yeah, shoot them move, back up. You move fast. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep, so fast through the load, okay. and only loading to about quarter squat. Simmons, underneath, loads, explodes. Oh, he gets it! He gets it! Tag a half an inch onto his previous jump, so he was at what, 22 and a half was it? 23, so he gets 23 and a half inches for Nick, 32 and a half for Lorenzo. All right. Another one to you, sir. Yes. Zero to two, but where do we go next, coach? Going outside to the broad jump. Broad jump, I might be able to get yeah. you in this one. Maybe, I'm still in my warm up. Maybe I'll take it off for the 40. Let's go outside. We're now outside on the turf. Broad jump is next. They'll step to the line. Toes have to stay behind the line, and then it's very simple. Jump as far as you can. Here goes Zoe. He's out past the eight foot mark. Did he get all the way to nine? Coach Natalie. Eight, 11. Eight foot 11. And Zoe, Zoe still hasn't taken off the uh, warm ups yet. He's still in the sweats and the backward hat. Nick is, was very tentative inside. Didn't really want to get up, get ready. This one, he jumped right to the line. He, I think there's a little bit of confidence brewing in Nick Simmons. Here he goes. Okay. Out. There 
it is. Near the eight foot, but not with his heels, with, with his toes. 6'10". 6'10", 6'10". Definitely some room for improvement there. I think Coach Natalie's going to work with him and show him how to extend his hips and throw his feet forward there. Here goes Zoe, attempt number two, take two. There sticks he is. the he sticks landing. It. Eight, eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. So we'll stick with the eight foot 11. Again, it's not an average of the scores. It's just your best score from the two attempts. Coach, this seems pretty technical. My first jump, I could tell I was just kind of like flailing. What, yeah. what can I do to like conserve momentum, kind of like we yep. did on, on the vertical? There's a little bit of a carryover, okay. which you're actually really well with. Like yep. Top. yep, so start again with your arms really high. Okay. You want to think of loading quickly, yeah. loading to about that quarter squat, and then really extending through your hips. So throw like, your hips forward. Is it like a long jump where I want to reach? Yeah, so you want to think of like aggressively throwing your hips forward. I'm not getting I any love. Help. I'm not getting any coaching. Here goes Simmons. There he goes. That was a huge improvement. 7.5. 7 7.5, an improvement of over a half a foot. Natalie Collars, the MVP. That was a big Let's improvement. Go. Dang, okay, okay. Most improved award goes to me. That but means you second me place, that yes, yes. And I think we had a little help from the coaches on the numbers. But <laughs> And then she followed up with some positive reinforcement. Which I need going need into the next exactly. event. So the next event is the 20 yard shuttle. Yes. Do you like it or do you hate it? I love it, that's my thing. All right, well, I've never done it, so I'm about to find out. All right, so now we have the 20-yard shuttle. The good news is for Nick that it's running. The bad news is it's change of direction. So Coach Natalie's showing you go five yards one way, 10 yards back, and then the start line and finish line is the same. They cross back in the middle. Now you have to make sure that you get your hand down on the five and then on the, on the 20, and then just sprint through the finish. Lorenzo getting into position. Lorenzo comes in at a 4-4 flat, 4-4-0, 4-4-0 for Lorenzo on the hand. For how it's supposed to be done part two, let's attempt Nick Simmons. Here goes Simmons, declares, gets across, a grunt as he crosses, the lean at the line. 4 9 one. that's a respectable 4 9 one. I feel like Coach Nat has something to work with here. Now, as we look at the replay, Chris, him getting off the line, how do we feel about this start? That's where a lot of time gets lost. Yeah, you know what I, what I would say is he's got to stay a little bit lower. He's got to whip that back leg across. Uh, the other thing is I, I would commit. I would fully commit to that first movement. You know, I think he's he's coming off the line like we're running an 800 here, right? We were only running 20 yards. That's pretty good. That's with no coaching. All right, so Lorenzo's still in his sweats, but he did put the cleats on. He, he posted a 4-4-0 on his first attempt. Let's see what he does in the second one. Alexander to the line. Set, and he's off. Good a quick. Huge first step. Out. A little bit of a slip, but comes across. Comes across at a 4-2-6, but I would say that's an invalid because he did slip and he did not hit his hands on that on that right hand touch. So that 4-4-0 is the time to beat. With that slip, I may still have a chance to get this one. 4-4-0 is the time to beat. I can go 4-3-9 if I... Number one, start of the line again. Okay, right hands down because you're going to the right. I'm going to the right. Yeah. Okay, now you can lean into this side a little oh, really? bit. So the, the judges won't let you, you know, be that aggressive with it, but lean a little bit into it. Yep. From here, aggressive crossover so you don't have time to turn your shoulders. Oh, no, yeah, so aggressive crossovers pushing through. Crossover, crossover. So we're trying to get there. We're trying to get there in two big crossovers. Go. One, two, yep. Take two for Simmons. To the line. Visualizing. Set. Gets out. Explodes out. Come on. Clean cut. <laughs> And hey, through the line. Four seven one. What's all right? We have some improvement for Simmons. He's still three tenths of a second off of Lorenzo's worst time. Oh! Big gains. Respect where respects due. You're four and zero oh against me. Yeah, man. Yeah. Come on. I'm, how many mulligans do we get? I'm just checking. How many mulligans do we get? because you just got like five. <laughs> so the cool thing about owning the editing company is I can really get creative. What mulligan? We're down to our last two events. The three cone is next. There's a lot of change in direction and also some non-linear running here. So as Natalie comes out, she's gonna go out to the first cone and back. Then returns to the first cone, looping around it. She'll come to this final cone outside and then you make a giant L, start line, finish line, same place. Hand timing again. Chris, your trigger figure stays ready. That's right, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. So Lorenzo was the 2017 NFL Pro Bowl MVP as an outside linebacker, a pass rusher. The skill set there to turn corners 
corners just like this. Needless to say, this is Lorenzo's drill. All right, to the action we go. Lorenzo on the line. Set a good start. Clean cut on the first one. Now, this is where he made his money. Around the corner. Dips it. That would be one dead quarterback at the end. All right, so here goes Nick for his first attempt. His first ever L cone drill. He's visualizing the route. Decent start, little bit laggy. Not bad. Gets out, gets that line. Here's, now here's all left turns, left turns, left turns, sprint through. He did. 7-9-7. Seven, 7-9-7. Seven. Seven, seven. All right, Lorenzo set for rep number two. Good explosion Great out, start. good clean cut, second clean cut. Now he's just got to turn the corner clean. Tight around the cone. Through in 7-2-1. 7 2, one. Seven, two, one. Seven, two one is the time. So, first of all, three point, not four point start. <laughs> Where are my starting blocks? Just shake it out, okay. get into the block. Okay, so we want your right foot forward. Okay. So let's get your hands set. Okay. You're gonna pop your hips up. Okay. And then bring your right hand up. So you kind of came out like this. Yeah, so here. Okay, so you're gonna explode out. So one, two, three, four. So from here, it's a really big push. Yeah. One, two, three. Got it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, bend it. Yep. Nick in a three-point stance this time. Gets out much quicker. Really good start. Good clean cut. Now can he get around? Short, choppy steps. A wide turn. Yeah. Seven, five, six. So close. So close. That was way prettier though, right? You're lucky we only get two attempts. Yes. Five and oh, one to go. One to we go. saved the best for last though. 40 yard dash. Last event, here we go. This is Nick's best shot. Well, at this point it's his only shot. It's the 40 yard dash. They'll start, you'll see two gates, one at 10 yards, one at 40 yards. We'll be able to give you the 10 yard and the 40 yard split. Can Nick get to that 40 yard point faster than Lorenzo? I just want to say you can tell he's nervous because he took his sweats off. Let's go to the action. Lorenzo up first. He's out. Woo, flying down and finishes in 499. 499. One six on the 10 yard, 499 on the 40. But we'll see, we'll see how Nick does. 499 is the time to beat. Guys, I ran professionally for 12 years. I got this. Again, the clock starts on his first movement. He'll get in that three point stance, that handle glove. He'll have to hold it for one second, and then he's out. Start looked a little choppy. Decent start, 179, can he finish? And he comes in at 513. Five, it's close, it's close, folks. Yeah, we're this close. Is there room for improvement or is that the best 40 you've ever seen? It was near the best 40 and there is room for improvement. We only need a little bit. Yeah, Except especially the in the start position. Okay. So start I got you. Start was never my best. I got you. Thank you, coach. So we're going to take up the whole white line. You're going to stack your feet. Oh, just like putting starting blocks together. Slide back so that your knees about in line with your toes. Hands right on the white line. But now pop your hips up. So on your last one, your hips were really low. If I were to like pour water on your back, it should roll straight down right, off go. your head. Yeah. And then I want you to shoot out, stay pretty low. Okay. So don't fight to stay low, but stay pretty low like a plane taking off. Hips up, yep. arm, uh, back. arm back, low. All right, so Zoe stepped into the line for his second attempt here. I think he might try to blow the doors off of his first time. In the stance, clock starts on the first movement. He's out. Through 10 in 166. That's flying. Lorenzo through the line in 507. Yes. Big deep breaths, visualizing a 498 appearing on the clock with the lean. He's up, he's down. He's up, and he's out. 178. He's got a chance. Through 40 in 507. Close, but no cigar. 14 years in the NFL two Pro Bowls, a Pro Bowl MVP. Lorenzo Alexander adds victory to Nick Simmons over his resume. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Let's go talk to the champ. Thanks for helping me improve in every single event. I hope you guys learned a thing or two there. There's no shame in losing to an athlete like this. Okay, guys, do you consent to this? I'm good. All right, he consents. So here's the thing. One thing I trained for years out was reaction time. Head to head 40. Will you do it? Yeah. Let's go. Easy. I'm close. Easy. I'm close. I need reaction time. I need reaction time right now. Runner set. And they're out. Looks like Nick's right with him. Lorenzo pulling towards the end. It looks like we might have a photo finish. Let's go to the tape. 
And it is Lorenzo with the win. Wow. I've had enough photo finishes to know when I lost. Hey man, bring it good in. Work, good work. Bring it in. Oh yeah. Hell good, of an work. good work, good work. Question though, who would win over 100 meters? You probably, you gotta, you kick late. You probably will beat me in 100 meters. You wanna run 100? Come to my turf? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's next week's video. Olympic runner versus NFL player, 100 meters. See you then.